everyone! For this variation of supported child's pose, you'll need one rectangular bolster and three blocks or any alternative props that create this shape. I have another video with this exact same variation of child's pose that uses a round bolster if you don't have blocks or don't want to set it up with blocks. You'll need one single fold blanket to place on top of the rectangular bolster if needed, one extra blanket for added comfort in front of the lower abdomen if that's comfy for you, one super cozy blanket to cover the back of your body, pillows for elbow support, and an eye cover. I suggest watching my restorative yoga props video if you haven't already, so you know exactly what I'm referencing. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. You can pause the video here to gather your props. Hi everyone, it's Dawn. We're gonna be setting up for a supported child's pose. In this variation, we're gonna be using the two blocks to hold up the rectangular bolster. If you don't have blocks or you would just prefer to use the other variation where we use a round bolster or something similar, just skip to that video. It's the same variation. So for this one, we have rectangular bolster and we have the two blocks. So the first block is about halfway mark on, at the bolster, and we've got the bottom edge resting on the mat, and then we have the top surface resting on with the bolster. The bolster is resting here. And then the block in the front, we have it vertical, and so it's resting on this angle, on the mat and then the bolster is resting on the top of it okay so it's just a little bit of kind of a little bit of wiggling around adjusting till you find that right edge and then you're nice and supported firm bolster and the blocks to support you then we're gonna put a blanket on top of the bolster if you want it. So there's a couple of variations. For me, this is too flat. So I need a little bit more height. Um, and then we want a little bit of something for, for the head. So one variation is taking the blanket that we have folded like this and opening it up the long ways and then folding it so it's the long ways. And then we take it and rest it over the bolster. Okay, and then we can just tuck this top underneath. And then that gives us a little bit of head support and it just gives us a little bit more height and a little bit more cushion to the surface. So that's one variation. The next variation, which I prefer, is to take that same blanket that we have folded and just putting it over the top. And I like to have a little bit of space there. So then we're gonna take another block or books or whatever you have, and we're gonna sit on the block. I prefer the long ways. You can also do it the short ways. You just wanna make sure that your sit bones are sitting on the block comfortably. And then you'll have your knees about as wide as a mat, feet close to touching as much as you can. It's just whatever is comfortable for your body. 
And then have your eye cover handy, or you can, if you have an eye mask, putting it over your head now is a good time. I'm not gonna use mine for the video. And I like to have this blanket. There's a little bit of space here for me, so I'm just gonna tuck in, have a little bit of extra support in this area. It's nice for it to press up against the lower abdomen. It feels really cozy. So it's, it's up to you. It's up to your body. It's up to the props that you have. So just practicing self-awareness and figuring out what works for you with what you have and what you need. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is create support for our elbows, forearm, and hand. So I've got two pillows on each side, pressing up against the bolster and the blocks. And then last but not least, take our blanket that we're gonna to use to cover ourselves up and wrap it around your back, bring it up under your arms and then just draping the excess off to the side so you don't want blanket bunched up around you right here. Unless that feels super cozy to you, it's up to you. making sure you have your eye cover on or nearby, and just taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. And on the exhale, slowly folding over the bolster, turning your head to one side, resting your arms on your pillows or blankets, and just settling in, finding your comfy zone, making sure your hands are on the pillows. We don't want them draping over. It starts to feel a little bit funny after a while. So supported hands, supported elbows, hands a little higher than the elbows, Shoulders relaxed. Noticing your breaths. Just letting your body relax into the props. And start to go inward. Child's pose helps to calm the mind and bring your focus inward. Notice your breath moving through your body. Taking the next five minutes to disconnect from your demands and pressures, allowing yourself to be fully present in this pose. Feeling comforted and supported by the props.
Now turn your head so your other cheek is resting on the props. Inhaling through the nose and on the exhale, slowly start to press yourself up to a seated position and slowly remove your eye cover. <laughs> 